Welcome to another broadcast of A Moment with the Truth. Today we're going to look at one of the most beloved Psalms, Psalms 139. I've entitled this devotional, God's Purpose for You is Deeply Personal. Greg Wilson entitles, Gerald Wilson entitles Psalms 139, Yahweh Knows Me. We use the soap process here at CV Church, which means we're going to take the Word of God and we're going to look at a scripture. We're going to make observations about it. We're going to make applications and prayer. Through the soaping process, that's how we cleanse God, allow God to cleanse and wash our hearts and minds. Scripture. I want to look at specifically Psalms 139, 13 to 18, 22 to 23. It says this. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and you knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, and I was woven together in the darkness of the womb. You saw me before I was even born. Every day of my life is recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day has passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God? They cannot be outnumbered. Are numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of the sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Verse 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Let's look at a few observations. The Bible is very clear that God is our creator. You did not, you were not spawned out of a primordial soup on your own and by accident. God's character goes into the very creation of every person. Verse 13 and 16 specifically describes how God personally watches over every human who is being conceived, regardless of how the conception takes place. Our creation was God's purpose. The psalmist is clear that God made you. He made me. And it was God that knit you and me together in the womb. We can take great pleasure in the fact that he has made us so complex and that his creation is so marvelous. The Bible says that Father God was watching over us as we were being formed and knitted together in our mother's womb. Every woman who is pregnant is carrying a wonderful, marvelous gift of his own creation to fulfill his purpose for their lives. The Bible says that every day of your life was recorded in his book. Every moment of your life is lived out in the presence of God before a single day even passes. That means that he is personally involved in every minute and second of your life. Loved ones, you are never truly alone. God hears, he sees, and he feels everything that you're going through right now. And he is present to be there for you. The truth is, you can choose to have strong confidence in the Lord's ability to discern and to perceive what your needs are because he purposed that you were born and he has the deepest passion and concern to oversee your life. Father God knows better than any other person in this world who you are. He was with you. He's over, he oversaw your conception and birth. And he is with you until you die. The psalmist concludes his psalm with verse 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me, know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. The psalmist asks his creator, since he has such a deep and intimate knowledge of who he is, that he wants to reject any evil that could be in his heart because of his commitment to God. This is clear from his prayer, asking for God to discern his motives and actions. The context of his prayer is that he has been accused by his enemies, and instead of defending himself to those who oppose him, he raises his voice to God, who alone is a righteous judge, can discern our own thoughts and motives. He boldly asks God to point out anything that offends him and to lead him along the path to life eternal. 
What a powerful prayer that we can all adopt. Let's look at some application. This psalm speaks to God's purpose for your life and is deeply personal because it concerns every aspect of your life. Your spiritual, your emotional, your relational, your financial, your vocational, your intellectual, and your physical life. Nothing in these seven areas, God says, escapes his love, his concern, and his attention. You need to know that you were born because Father God wanted you to make your appearance on this planet. Ephesians 1, 4 to 5 says, even before he made the world, God loves us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt you into his own family by bringing you to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and this gave him great pleasure. Your birth points to the truth that you were that before you were even born, you were loved and chosen by God to belong to his family. He purposed you to be his own. This is why he sent Jesus Christ, so that he could provide the means by his life, death, burial, and resurrection that you could be placed into a right relationship with Father God. And Father God takes great pleasure in you. Your birth is no accident. You are here today because God has a great plan for your life. Whatever it is that you're dealing or struggling with today, whether you feel unworthy, unloved, uncared for, powerless to change whatever is going on in your life, it just isn't true. The first thing you can do is ask Father God to search your heart and to test you and to point out any anxious thoughts. The anxiety, the fear, the fretting, are sure signs that you're not trusting God's power, presence, and purpose for your life. First Peter 5, 7 says this, So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God because he cares about you. Peter says because the Father's care for you is so vast, so deep, and so personal. You can give all of your cares and fears and anxieties to him. This is truly the only antidote for worry. The second thing that the psalmist points us to is we're to ask the Father to point out anything in us that might be offensive to him. How you're thinking, how you're feeling, how you're acting. What motives do you need his help to help you face them and to be honest with him? As you cast your cares upon him, as you confess and repent of those things that are so offensive to the Father's heart, you can be sure that he loves you, he accepts you, he forgives you, and that he is leading you along the path of eternal life. You are in good hands when you surrender your life to your loving Father, Creator, and Savior. Let's pray. Father, Father, will you help me? Will you help us to truly believe that there is no one as powerful, as all-knowing, and as all-loving, and all-caring as you? You are our creator. You are our father. It is your passion, your care, and your interest in us that is so personally intense and intentional because you love us and you are personally responsible for my life and our lives. I pray today for each one of my friends and myself. We ask you, search our hearts and that you would reveal to us what we're anxious about. What are we fretting about? Many of us experience hurts, pain, and physical illness because we're worrying about our lives instead of entrusting our past, present, and future into your hands. I ask that you point out anything in me that is offensive to you, anything that is offensive in our CV Church family, and that we, I, will quickly repent and turn from it. I pray that you lead each one of us along the path of eternal life. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. And I just want to bless you this uh, day and ask that the Lord bless you, that he would protect you personally, that you would see his smiling countenance upon you, that he would be gracious to you, that he gives you his favor, and that you would experience his supernatural peace, that sense of well-being and that deep sense of contentedness because he loves you and you belong to him. 
Go in the name of Jesus and fulfill all of his purposes for you today. See you tomorrow.